Hey yo, it's Rico. And our foster wife, foster the person, next foster twin three, really whatever you want to call me. A dad. Welcome back to another YouTube video, guys. And holy crap, am I white? Um, holy, like, I'm using like lights for the first time ever, like for YouTube. They are so bright. I'm just gonna turn these down. That looks better, right? That looks okay. Oh. Don't go that close to the camera. Okay, it's been a hot second, guys, and I apologize for that, but I have really good news. I've been working on a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm lying to you. I haven't done anything while I've been away. I've kind of just been bored, so now I'm making a video. And wow, do I have a video for you guys. <laughs> I go to Endicott College in Beverly, Massachusetts, and at my college, in my community, we hold like a lot of events for a lot of like certain things, and a lot of those events are held by RHA. Answering the call in your residence hall. They're like the Ghostbusters of college kids. So anyways, so some of the stuff that they've done, if you don't know, Calentura Latin Dance Night, learn salsa and ba bachata, uh, haunted trail. They do newsletters, holiday door decorating contests. Uh, they did this thing with like a tree. So they do events that have to do with like the time period that we're in. So, like if they're in October, they do something Halloween. If they're in December, they do something Christmas. So right now we're kind of in a moment in our lives where like the coronavirus is really taking over our lives and everyone's thinking Corona, Corona, Corona. So it only makes sense to do something that had to do with the coronavirus, right? And if you thought that you're completely right. Um, oh wait, I Actually, no, you're completely wrong. <laughs> Instead, they decide to do, drum roll please, Sexapalooza. I saw this poster in my dorm building and I was like, um, I need to go to this. There's no chance I'm not going to this and I need to make a video on it. So first off, I wanna say that the posters were everywhere. Sexapalooza posters were apps everywhere you look, Sexapalooza, Sexapalooza, Sexapalooza. Tonight at eight, tonight at whatever time it was. What time was it? Five to eight, Sexapalooza, baby. You be there or you be square. And you might be wondering, Foster, what's Sexapalooza? And I completely see where you're coming from. I don't wanna put Sexapalooza in a bad name or in a bad light. So let's have the representative that actually held the event talk about it to you guys. Question is, what is Sexapalooza? Um, well, Sexapalooza is like an all-encompassing educational event where we wanted people to have time to talk about like sexual, like safe sex, and talk about sexual encounters, um, and how to actually pursue like safe contraceptives and um, after plans and stuff like that. Um, but also allow a chance for students to get together and actually talk about sex. That was a perfect, that was a perfect answer. I I, so far, I'm completely on board for this thing. Let's get into the first station that they had here at Sexapalooza, the RHA Mocktails. Yeah, you heard that right. Enjoy terrible tasting drinks with no alcohol. So what's the point? Yeah, so that was kind of bummy. No one really did that because it was just disgusting. All right, so next up we have the information table. The information table had everything you needed to know about sex. We got lubrication facts, cock rings. You like onion rings? Nah. Here at Sexapalooza, we got cock rings. <laughs> of course, silicone and glass facts, DVD and VOD, bondage and spanking. I don't know who I'm, whoever, you know who you are. You, you know. Harnesses, vibrators, G-spot, and who can forget about the anal sex facts? Let's just read a little bit about what the anal sex facts is. Anal sex should be pleasurable, not painful. That's so good to know. Every time I try to have anal sex, um, I always think that you are trying to hurt the other person. So this is already, I'm getting a lot of helpful tips through this. That was the information deck or the information station. <laughs> Next up, we have the drunk glasses station. This was an interesting station for me personally. Uh, here, I'll let the woman tell you what it's about. Someone explain to the camera what this part okay. is. Okay, sure. Do I have to say my name? Basically here okay. what we're doing is you wear drunk goggles and they have all different BACs. Um, so you do the max one, which is a point two. Okay, she's talking like so slow. So you have these grunk, you, you have, have these grunk, grunk goggles. goggles. So you have these drunk goggles, uh, you put them on, you have a banana or a um, cucumber, have a condom, put the condom on as fast as you can. It's like a fun game to see like what it's like when you're drunk and you try to put a condom on. And if you win, or not win, but if you're successful in doing it, you get a raffle ticket. And you put the raffle ticket in like the box where you put the raffle tickets. And if they pick yours, you get to win a sex toy. I hear this and I'm like, so I did it and I was amazing at it. Oh. 
<laughs> this is wow, yeah. Which way does it go? This way, baby. Ooh. Safe as always. <laughs> Amazing. That was pretty good. That was fast. I wish that Michael, the person that was doing the camera, continued because I made a joke afterwards. They did not find it funny. They said, oh, that's good. That was fast. And I go, yeah, I have a lot of practice insinuating that I have drunk sex a lot. And all three of the women there uh, didn't laugh and then I I was like I'm kidding I don't have I don't do I don't I don't do that gosh that was t it was terrible it was such a horrible situation but I got my raffle ticket so I'm I'm writing away I'm like ba 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 I put my shit in there and everyone did everyone was winning games left and right people were writing their shit down they're like I want vibrators I want dildos I want cock rings everyone wanted everything but then then oh my gosh the cream of the crop the end of the video is coming it's on the horizon we get to the best station at Sexapalooza. And that, my friends, that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is the dildo ring toss. And oh boy, was it daunting. But I'm determined. I iced the goggle thing like a pro. Ice in my veins. I did it so fast. Bop. Okay, don't ever show that again. So this one, I was determined to do it. To get a raffle ticket though on this one, you just had to sink one of them. And well, ladies and gentlemen, just watch the video. You gotta say Kobe in the last one. Kobe. Ooh. That's a bottle. Oh. That's a raffle ticket. Ooh. Ooh. Bang. Kobe. Oh. oh no way. Two for two. Two for two, baby. Why not go for three? Kobe. 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 Oh! oh my that was it. That was, oh, three for three. that was amazing. <laughs> I was. Ooh, I was distraught. I was distraught. Anyways though guys, if anyone who held Sexapalooza is watching this video, you guys did absolutely amazing. It was such a fun experience. Uh, you guys, you blew it out of the park. It was a lot of fun. No hard feelings with this video. I had a lot of fun, obviously, as I was telling you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll make uh, more videos soon in the future. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna do a consistent schedule though, to be honest, but who knows, anything can happen, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the notification bell uh, to be notified every time I release a new video. Comment, like, do all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for watching, as I said before, and have a, oh my gosh, I haven't done this in so long. It's gonna feel great. Whoa! Great day.